Hey YouTube, uh, just wanted to share some more baby ball pythons I'm hatching for the 2022 season. Uh, this season is starting to pick up now. Every week that goes by, I'm hatching more and more clutches. So I've got some really cool ones to show you here. Nothing too crazy, but pretty nice with some really good odds. So I uh, just wanted to share those with you and make sure to visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com to actually see what I have available. Uh, I think all or almost all this is going to be on there at some point. It's probably going to be a few weeks. I don't like to put babies up on the website until they're actually ready to ship. Uh, you know, these obviously haven't eaten yet. They just hatched and shed, so they're not ready to go yet. I like to get at least six, maybe eight meals in my snakes before I actually put them up for sale. So a lot of these 2022 babies will be or are available, but they're just not ready to ship right now. So, uh, but I'll be loading up the website with new snakes probably. I'm hoping weekly or at least every couple of weeks throughout the summer and then once the hatching season kind of winds down then i'll have more time to concentrate on getting more snakes on the website so anyway let's just get right to this um okay the first clutch i have to show you is from a black pastel clown bred to a bamboo clown okay first got a couple of really nice black pastel clowns so the odds on this clutch came out pretty nice as i had said Look at the col color, got a little nippy one. Look at the colors on this one, it's so light compared to this one, but as far as I can tell, they're just black pastel clowns. But really nice colors on them. Okay, and then here is a bamboo clown. Really clean pa uh, pattern on that one. Um, assuming that's the blade working on that. To, um, reduce that pattern a little bit. And then here's what I believe is a black pastel bamboo clown. A black pastel, when you mix it with bamboo, doesn't really darken the snake that much. You'd think a, a black pastel bamboo would be a super, super dark snake. It is darker than a typical bamboo, but not as dark as what you'd think black pastel would do to it, if that makes any sense. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this one is the black pastel bamboo clown. Okay, I'm going to put these guys back. Okay, the next clutch is stuff I've produced before, but a um, uh, really nice sex ratio came out in this clutch and uh, just really outstanding looking individuals. This one is from a Coral Glow Black Pastel Pied Mail Maker bred to just a regular pied. So I went through and sexed these already. These here are two just nice, really, really nice color, but typical pieds. Okay, those two are both girls. Now we've got this outstanding coral glow pied. Okay, and then we have a male black pastel coral glow pied. Really, really nice colors on, on that one. Quite a bit of pattern too. A lot of black pastel pieds don't have much pattern. They always have a, well, almost always have a dark head and maybe just a patch or two of dark pattern on their body, but this one's got quite a bit. So this was a male. Remember, this is a male coral glow black pastel pie that produced this clutch. Here is a really high white female coral glow black pastel pied. And then here is a lower white, it's still pretty high white, but lower compared to the other one, black pastel coral glow pied female. So two females out of four coral glows in this clutch, and it's from a male maker. I, I produced it myself, and most of his clutches turn out all males, or at least mostly males. But yeah, I got two females in this clutch. So really thrilled about that. I might, uh, I might decide with my good fortune of getting so many females in that clutch, I might keep one of these. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, that's pretty lucky. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Sorry for the short video. Um, I've got a lot of stuff hatching. Uh, I think I've got like six or seven clutches pipping in the incubator right now. So many cool things coming out. So I uh, just got to wait for those to completely hatch out and shed, and then I will show them off to you guys. Uh, let me know what you think about these. 
and uh, make sure to check out my website again, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Also like and subscribe. Subscribe to our newsletter on the website. You may or may not get an email with a special offer at some point. So uh, yeah, make sure to do that. And I'll be back again with another video very soon. See you guys.